Nature never ceases to amaze us with its diversity and creativity. In this video, we'll introduce you to some of the most unusual and intriguing baby animals in the world. From spiny sunfish to fluffy flamingos, these little ones will surprise and delight you. Duck-billed platypus. Ever seen a creature with a bill like a duck, webbed feet, and a beaver-like tail? Well, if you've seen Phineas and Ferb, chances are you have. After all, it's the weirdly famous duck-billed platypus, a semi-aquatic mammal found in eastern Australia and Tasmania. But have you seen a baby one, though? This is where it gets pretty interesting. Platypuses are monotremes, which means they're mammals that lay eggs instead of giving birth to live young. After a brief courtship involving a chase in the water, the female constructs a specially built nursery burrow and lays two small leathery eggs. After about two weeks of gestation and another six to ten days of incubation, the eggs hatch and out come tiny baby platypuses called puggles. These little puggles are born blind and hairless and rely on their mother's milk for nourishment. Milk comes from tiny openings in the mother's belly and the puggles lap it up with their tiny mouths. As they grow, their fur starts to come in and their eyes open, and eventually they'll be ready to venture out into the world on their own. The Echidna As it turns out, platypi aren't the only egg-laying mammal on the planet. Echidnas also lay eggs, in fact, and these two animals are the only two mammals that actually lay eggs. So when the other mammals decided that they would stop laying eggs, these two basically didn't get the memo. During the breeding season, which runs from July through August, female echidnas get busy. Lay a single leathery egg into a temporary pouch formed by abdominal muscles and subcutaneous mammary tissue. The egg is incubated in the mother's pouch for 10 days, after which it hatches inside the pouch. The baby echidna is also called a puggle, just like the baby platypus, and it remains in its mother's pouch for 53 days. Now, just because they hatch from eggs doesn't mean they come out all spiky. No, mom wouldn't like that. You see, after hatching, it still stays in his mom pouch for at least two months, and as soon as the spikes start to poke out, it's automatically evicted. Basically, baby echidnas turn 18 in a couple of months. Barnacle Goose Barnacle geese are medium-sized birds with black heads, necks, and breasts, and creamy white faces. And while they don't look like it, these geese are tough as nails. Why, you ask? Well, within a few days of hatching, their goslings must take a leap of faith, quite literally, off a 400-foot cliff. You heard that right. These little footballs have to jump off a cliff to reach the grass below where their parents are foraging. And while they may have wings, they won't be able to fly for another month. So it's a free fall for these brave little chicks. But why do they do that? Well, barnacle geese create nests on high cliffs to avoid predators. But once the gosling is hatched, they need to get down to the grass below the eat. So they simply take the plunge. Because of their parents' unfortunate choice of living spaces, there's a high morality rate among chicks. In fact, only 50% of the chicks born on the clifftop survived their first month of life. The Pangolin There is literally no other mammal in the world like the Pangolin. These unique creatures are the only mammals with scales, which makes up about 20% of their weight. But did you know that when baby Pangolins, or Pangroups, are born, their scales are pink and soft? That's right, these little cuties don't start out as tough as their parents. But don't worry, their scales start to harden after just one day. Pangolin mothers are very protective of their young, and keep them safe in underground burrows or tree hollows while their scales harden for some protection. The young are usually weaned at around three months of age, though at about one month old they'll start to eat ants and termites. And when it comes time for the little ones to start eating solid food, they have a special treat in the store. Ants and termites! With their long sticky tongues that are longer than their bodies, panga pups are perfectly adapted for slurping up these tasty treats. Not all fun's and games for these little ones, though. Pangolins are facing many threats in the wild, including habitat loss and poaching for their meat and scales. The Flamingo Flamingos are fabulous, with their vibrant pink feathers and long, slender legs. But their babies? Not quite as fabulous. Yet. These little tiny bundles of joy are covered in gray feathers, have short, stubby beaks, and their legs look like they're made of leather. But don't worry, they'll grow into their fabulousness soon enough. How do they go from gray to pink, you ask? Well, it's all thanks to their parents and their diet. Both male and female flamingos produce a special milk in their throats that's bright red, thanks to the blue-green algae and crustaceans they eat. When these foods are digested, they create red pigmentation in the flamingo's fat, which is then deposited all over their bodies. As the baby flamingos drink this milk, they start to turn pink, too. First, it's a pink appear when they're about three months old. Eventually, they'll grow those iconic curved bills that let them filter out their own food. Until then, they rely on their parents for nourishment and end up sapping some of their color in the process. Kids really do take everything from you. The Dumbo Octopus Ever heard of the Dumbo Octopus? No, it's not a cartoon character, but a real-life creature that lives deep in the ocean, more than 13,000 feet below the surface. 
These little guys are named after the famous Disney elephant because of their ear-like fins they use to swim. But unlike Dumbo, these octopi don't need a magic feather to fly through the water. When Dumbo octopus babies hatch, they're tiny, only about half an inch across. Maybe tiny, but they're born ready for action. While still inside their eggs, they develop everything they need to survive in the deep sea, including those adorable fins. They're like little underwater superheroes, fully equipped with all their powers from birth. After hatching, they still have an internal yolk sac to provide them with nutrients while they hunt for their first meal. And they have to do it all on their own, with no help from their folks. Talk about being thrown into the deep end. But these little octopi are tough and can handle it. They may be small, but they're mighty. In fact, Dumbo octopi are some of the most adaptable creatures in the ocean. Skates. Ever heard of a mermaid's purse? No, it's not where Ariel keeps her treasures, but a special pouch where baby skates are born. These little creatures look like stingrays with legs and emerge from their pouches fully formed, ready to take on the ocean. Each mermaid's purse is made of a material similar to our fingernails and has a single skate embryo. Pouch is hooked up so it can cling to seaweed or other surfaces while the baby skate grows inside. When it's ready to hatch, the baby skate emerges, usually about five inches long. Skates are fascinating creatures that come in many different shapes and sizes. Some species can grow up to eight feet long while others remain small throughout their lives. So next time you're at the beach and see a strange rectangular pouch washed up on the shore, take a closer look. Might just be a mermaid's purse, a little reminder of these amazing creatures that live beneath the waves. The Axolotl. Axolotls are native to Mexico and when they hatch, they're barely half an inch long and almost see through. Looking at these tiny creatures is like looking at an x-ray, except you can see all its internal organs. Coolest thing about axolotls is their crown-like gills. These gills have long filaments that make them look like they're wearing feather boas around their necks. And they're not just for show. These gills help the axolotl breathe underwater. They provide a large surface area for gas exchange, allowing the axolotl to extract oxygen from the water. And unlike other amphibians, axolotls keep their gills for their entire lives. After about 10 days, axolotls start to grow legs, but it takes them around 18 months to fully develop. Trust me, they're not in any rush, taking their time to grow and mature. One thing to watch out for with axolotls is their tendency to cannibalize their siblings. But despite this somewhat gruesome trait, axolotls are fascinating and unique creatures that are sure to capture your imagination. After all, who wouldn't want a pet that looks like it's wearing a feather boa? Ladybugs Ladybugs are beloved for their round, friendly appearance, but their larvae look nothing like the adults. In fact, ladybug larvae can seem downright terrifying in comparison. These little creatures hatch from their eggs just four days after being laid and immediately start eating everything in sight. Ladybug larvae are voracious eaters, often consuming dozens of aphids or other soft-bodied pests in a single day. They gorge themselves for about a week, growing bigger and stronger with each meal. Then when they're ready to transform, they attach themselves to a leaf and undergo a remarkable transformation. The ladybug's larva back splits open, revealing the pupa inside. After a few more days, a fully formed ladybug emerges, ready to take on the world. It's hard to believe that they're such a cute and friendly looking creature that could have started out as something so creepy looking. But that's the magic of nature, full of surprises and transformations. So next time you see a ladybug, take a moment to appreciate the journey it took to get there. From a terrifying larva to a beloved beetle, ladybugs are truly remarkable creatures. The Sunfish. Sunfish are kind of like the weirdos of the ocean. Even in their larval stages, they look like something out of a sci-fi movie with spiny features and dark rings around their eyes. It's like they're gonna be deep space pufferfish or something. Despite their strange appearance, sunfish larvae are tiny, hatching at roughly the size of a pinhead. These little fish can be found in tropical waters all over the world, swimming in schools with their relatives. And there's a lot of relatives to swim with. Sunfish lay around 300 million eggs in each spawning, the largest number of any vertebrate. It's like they're trying to break a world record or something. As they grow, sunfish larvae lose their spines and absorb their yolks, undergoing a remarkable transformation. Eventually, they metamorphose into the heaviest bony fish in the world, reaching lengths of up to 14 feet. It's like they go from being tiny Christmas ornaments to massive sea monsters. So next time you're swimming in tropical waters, keep an eye out for schools of tiny, spiny fish. Might just be baby sunfish on their way to become giants of the ocean. See you all next time.